Yo, what's going on, YouTube? What's going on, everybody, man? Welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing today, man? Welcome back. Welcome back. So we're here with some mic and the mechanics. I believe it's going to be called not mic plus the mechanics, but maybe either or, you know, mic and the mechanics, mic plus the mechanics. We're here with mic and then break the mechanics. All right. So we've got the living years. This looks like an official video. It says up there at least. Uh, so we're going to be checking this one out. I've had this one requested before and even most recently by one of my Patreon members. Uh, thanks for bringing it back on my radar. I forgot about this one, but it has been requested in the past. So I'm excited to check it out, man. See what we're getting into. I don't know Mike and the mechanics um, and I don't know the living gear. So let's go ahead and jump in, see what we're getting into. Plus, we've got a video to boot. So let's see what's happening. He's got his son there too. Kind of like, I'm not going to make the same mistakes. into it. I just wish I could have 
Listen as well as you can hear. Wow, okay. So, I'm going to take a look at uh, the lyrics and stuff here in a bit. But uh, from what I was gathering on this one on the first listen was it sounds like obviously um, a pretty pretty head-on, hard-headed situation with his father. Uh, maybe for anybody with the parent, uh, parental figure that you guys really don't see eye to eye, to eye man. Um, and it's kind of funny. I just did a song, uh, my generation, this kind of reminded me of it, but more in a household sense, um, where you're your own person. You don't have the same beliefs as your parents. You don't fall into the same desires as your parents. They might want you to do a, but really you want to do B with your life. And there are some relationships that they just don't deal well with that, man. Um, they really can't come to a compromise. Um, and I feel I feel bad for people in that situation where it's almost like your parents need to control who you are. Uh, they're disappointed when you're not who they thought you should be. Uh, I feel really bad about that. I got two daughters of my own uh, and my niece that lives with me. And um, I don't know, man. I just I, I don't relate to that. Like, I don't relate to that. Uh, I'm totally cool with them doing what they want to do. You know, my, my philosophy is as long as you're not hurting somebody else, man, you you aren't living a, a heart. Uh, a life that's harmful to other people. You don't go out. You don't bully. You don't treat people like crap. You know. You don't uh, get high on other people's downs. Like you're just not a, a crappy person. I'm cool with what you want to do in life. Um, and that's my philosophy for anybody I interact with, man. If you're not a crappy person, like cool, man. We're gonna get along. But if you if you really have a crappy mentality and you take pride in like hurting other people, man, get the get that away from me. You know what I mean? Like I don't I don't like all that. Um, but anyway, getting back to the story here. It's like, uh, yeah, he's, it sounds like um, maybe his dad was really uh, hard-headed and just really couldn't uh, come to, I don't know, come to peace with knowing that his son doesn't have to live his life like him. And I like that in the video, he's there with his son um, because to me, it's like he's going to be a better role model than who he got. And that's all I think as parents we should be able to do, man. We should be able to give our kids a better outcome than we got as kids. Right. So I see a lot of the bad things that went on in my life as a child. And I said, my kids won't ever go through that. And they haven't. Right. Uh, I did not cre recreate that same environment that I was raised in. And I feel like a parent, you should always be doing that. You give your kid a better life. They give their kids a better life. They give their kids a better life. And it should be a constantly improving betterment uh, of who they are. Um, but when you have those kind of people who just won't let you live and won't let you be and you know, let you know that they're disappointed with who you are, man. That's vicious. That's vicious. But I like that he's, it looked like in the video, he's not going to carry that on to his kid. And that's beautiful. Um, but he's sitting with a lot of resentment um, because his parents no longer around, right? His dad's no longer around. So his resentment is, why didn't we work this out when you were alive? Why didn't I at least even tell you the things I should have told you when you were alive, the way you made me feel? But also, why couldn't you understand when you were alive? Why didn't we have a better situation, um, and that's a shame, man. And it, that that line where he kind of talks about, you know, I could see your words kind of, or, or you know, you echo through the tears of my newborn child. Like, oh, you know, that to me, to me, that that's like the full circle. That's when he had his beautiful boy, and he sees this beautiful new life brought in to him, uh, this joy, man, and those tears are kind of a reminder of I'm not going to be that person that was, you know, that I had as a, as a father. Like, I'm not going to be that to you. I'm going to be better. And he will always remember in those moments that I'm going to give you better than what I had. That's the way I took it. 
um because that's the way i relate to it man that's a relation i've had my whole life um and i will stand by that and hopefully one day you know my when my kids are older and they they can uh realize everything they can say hey man um thank you dad or or whatever i mean that's what i hope for right we hope that we get them to a position where they're happy in life and that hopefully um they realize that we had an impact or they say hey you had an impact on why i showed up here man um i would love that you know so we'll see i mean that's i try to have a good relationship with them that's all i can say um i also th i also thought it was really nice how with the course and uh, so the the chorus singing behind him, right? The choir, I guess it was kind of like a choir singing behind him on the chorus section. Uh, the first half was little children, and the second half was older adults. So I also like that contrast going right along with the song in the imagery, man. So I love when they do that with music videos. All right, so we've got the Living Years here. It's a soft rock ballad written by B. A. Robertson and Mike Rutherford, uh, and recorded by R Rutherford's. British rock band Mike and the Mechanics. It was released in December 1988 in the United Kingdom and in the United States as a second single from their album Living Gears. Okay, so we've got some background here. The song was inspired uh, by Mike and BA realizing their fathers had died around the same time and they later learned uh, singer Paul Carax's father had died when he was young as well. Being of similar age, we both came from an era where our parents had lived through two world wars when young men wanted to be like their fathers, wear the same clothes, do the same things. But then there was a huge change and our generation wanted to be anything but their fathers. Yeah, but bro, I was just I was just talking about that, about when that happened, when that situation occurred in modern society where we broke away and we wanted to be something else. We didn't want to necessarily be, uh, you know, cut cut and paste images of our parents our cookie cutter uh you know images of our parents whatever you want to call it uh it wasn't our parents fault it was just a big social change pop music had come along the beatles uh, denim trousers for the first time teens had their own culture that's how our generation couldn't really talk to our parents in the same way so we had the idea of writing a song about how you never really talk to your father and miss out on these things yeah so that's what it was man i mean this they're, they're talking about a situation that I just talked about, how society had a shift, man. We had a shift, and maybe it was the 60s, maybe it was the 50s. Um, but prior, it seems like the kids always ended up being like their parents. And when that happened, when that change happened, it was hard to get over that your kids weren't going to turn out like you or weren't going to be exactly who you wanted them to be. And for some parents, that is difficult to deal with, right? They, they feel like they lost control. Like, they don't have the impact that they felt they needed to have. But, hey, we're all our own people, man. Um, you know, you, you bring your kid in the world. All you can do is your best to raise them. Um, and hopefully you are, right? Um, absent parents, man, I don't know. That sucks. That sucks because the kids, the, the kids need their parents, man. So uh, hopefully you did as best as you can for your, for your children. Um, and then they're going to make up their own mind. They're going to become their own people. Um, and as long as they're not harming anybody, man, you should back them. You know what I mean? You should encourage them and help them. Um, always give them sound advice, man. That's, that's what I hope to do, man. So thank you for uh, letting me know on this one, living years, man, really strong song. So a little bit about Mike and the mechanics. There it is. It finally says Mike and the mechanics. So it's not plus the mechanics. So, um, they're an English rock super group. Oh, super group. eh? okay. So they've, they've got some, some, uh, Gentlemen in here from prior groups and whatnot, it sounds like, formed in Dover in 1985 by Mike, Mike Rutherford initially as a side project during a hiatus period for the other group. Oh, for his other group, Genesis. So he was in Genesis as well. Okay, I'm unfamiliar with him. The band are known for their their hit single, Silent Running, All I Need is a Miracle, Taken In, The Living Years, Word of Mouth, and Over My Shoulder. There we go, guys. So they're from Dover, uh, Kent, England. They're a rock group. Pop rock group, adult contemporary group. They went from 1985 to 2004, took a long break, well, six years break, and they are back together from 2010 to present, man. So you can catch them today. It says they're spinoffs of Genesis, Ace, Squeeze, Sad Cafe, and Roachford. Don't know any of those, group, those groups except for um, Genesis there. So, and it sounds like it has some original members maybe who's well actually i don't know who everyone who was a uh, part of the original super group but it looks like paul has left right so paul karak 
uh, has left the group at least. So thank you guys for tuning in here with me today, man. Hopefully you enjoyed the reaction. Uh, really just another deep song, man. I love these deep ones that you can really chew on and uh, get a lot out of, man. Get a lot of emotion out of the, these songs, man. Very powerful stuff. So thank you guys for being here with me today. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe. Check out the descriptions down below for other ways you can help the channel, man, including becoming a member here on my YouTube, my Patreon, and donation requests. All right, thank you guys so much. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.